the PTL Television Network presents... I want them to hear this because she's one of our students and a dynamic she girl. Surely We're is. just so grateful that God is doing some good things. So share a little bit with Karen Harris and singing God's praises to you. Have you ever been hungry? Jesus will feed you. Have you ever really needed him? When he just didn't need you Have you ever seen someone Who is down and out That our Jesus just didn't care about Well, I've never seen the righteous or saved Or God see I remember when I was a little girl, when I was eight years old, one of the things that caused me to hunger for God was the experience that I had seen in my grandmother and my mother. I saw their faith, that it was lived out in front of me. I saw their intimate relationship with God, that it was real, that they knew Him. And when I saw them moving in those gifts of the Spirit, I thought, I want that. I want to receive that power in my life. around on the dirt road, up in those pine trees up there. And the wind was gently blowing. I could just feel this unusual breeze, but it was more than just wind. I sensed the presence of God in the wind. As I was walking in those pines, I heard the voice. And I heard him calling me to preach. And I never forgot the sound of it. And I never forgot that compelling desire in my heart to follow that voice for the rest of my life and to do what he was telling me to do. It was so real to me that I became consumed with this desire. I remember being in that little blue bedroom on that blue carpet. Oh, I remember telling the Lord, Lord, if you will just let me sing, I promise you, God, I will never sing any other kind of music except music that would give you glory. I'll never forget what happened that day. I was singing that song in that same presence that I felt. singing, Holy Spirit, touch through me. We want to introduce a beautiful young lady that has blessed us many, many times at Trinity Broadcasting Network. One of the sweetest singers in America, Miss Karen Wheaton, here with us. same presence I've heard and felt in the woods, the same presence I felt on the platform of this little Church of God of Prophecy, filled that studio. That day changed my life.
I remember pulling up to the traffic light in front of the shopping center in downtown Hamilton. I quickly glanced over into that parking lot and there's all these cars parked there in these, in these morning hours and there's all these young people from this Hamilton area sitting on the hoods of their cars. And as I'm looking at them, I'm thinking to myself, they have no idea who the real God is and they're just wasting their lives. And then I heard the voice. I want you to work with the youth of this community. I began to explain to God why I was not the person to work with young people. I was too old, I am not cool, and I am busy in real ministry. And then he said the words that would forever change my life. You are a youth pastor in your old town of Hamilton. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what I call myself, but I'll tell you one thing. I love this group of kids behind oh, me. Oh, I know you love and them. And that scripture just popped out to me. A chosen generation. What did you call them again? What did they call them? Their name is Chosen because 1 Peter 2 and 9 says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Let me see that there's a real God, something that I could possibly believe in enough to live for or die for. There's a generation begging you to be real and to be real now. The ramp is really an expression of my love for God. It is as if you could take my heart, if you could open the doors to it wide and let me say to the whole world, come in and experience the presence of God. It is a place where He dwells. Here, now, all I know is I know that you are here now. Still my heart, let your voice be all I Throughout the journey, He is the joy that is set before us. He's the one we're ultimately following. I'm just glad I'm not alone on the journey, but there's other people that have also got a heart of passion and love and desire for Him who has seen Him and have heard that same voice. And they say too, like me, He is worth it. Yes is really an invitation to a journey, to walk with Him through desert places, through mountains of transfiguration and glory, through gardens of Gethsemane, through crucifixions, through glorious resurrections. But He makes it worth the journey.